here in East Tennessee after being closed for 10 days due to flooding a couple of months ago. Zoo Knoxville has announced the money they lost during that time has been completely restored. 10 News reporter Katie Inman walks us through how the community banded together to get the zoo back on its feet. Hey, Katie. Hey, Stephanie, when all the rain came through and the zoo had to close in February, they were worried about all the money lost from ticket sales and having to pay for things like generators. But all the visitors over the spring break season have closed that gap. The rain in February brought a flood of worry and expenses to Zoo Knoxville. That was um, that was obviously concerning for us and something that we uh, were concerned about um, how that would impact us uh, uh, as we got into our spring season. But the saving grace was spring break and community support uh, over the spring break uh, calendar that we had visitors coming out in mass and uh, and they closed that gap for us. So we are very appreciative of all the love and, and support that East Tennessee gave us. That gap was caused when the zoo's transformer was underwater. They brought in generators, which cost about $30,000 a week to operate. The zoo had to close for 10 days, equaling about $100,000 in loss in visitor spending. In all, the zoo estimates to have lost about $350,000 to $450,000. Hopefully we won't ever see um, flooding on, on that scale again, but if so, we're going to do our best to be prepared uh, so we can continue uninterrupted. This isn't the only hardship Zoo Knoxville has faced in the last few years, though. In 2017, 33 reptiles were found dead in the reptile habitat from an unknown agent. But with the announcement of the new ARC reptile area, the number of reptiles will be restored fully and then some. One of the things that came out of that terrible tragedy uh, was this new art facility. Our community once again rallied and said we want to help. Overall, the community and animals are at the forefront. And so we're so excited about what this, I mean, what this is going to open up and allow us to accomplish. Zoo Knoxville also says if you want to help them out in any way, just come and visit them. Ticket sales along with gift shop and concession purchases allow the zoo to continue making improvements and helping animals. Stephanie. Katie, thank you.